Welcome back everyone to Pontos Fathom Hobbies. This is our gameplay of Cthulhu Wars. We are playing with the Azathoth expansion and it is Season 3, Episode 3. A uh, quick shout out to Pontos Fathom Press and we're playing in honor of Yellow Sign Month, uh, Hermeticism at Hastor, Nyarlathotep, and Azathoth. You can see them over here. Uh, check out the uh, our turn one. Do a little showcase of those guys. Um, can go back and watch uh, our setup video to start this off, and uh, leave a comment below. Everything that you leave a comment for really helps us in growing the channel. Uh, if you could subscribe, that really helps us to get noticed by the algorithm. So, uh, trying to get this channel growing. So, really appreciate your guys' help. Okay, let's get on to turn three. As you can see, we've got gates across the world. Uh, King in Yellow is spawned. Uh, one of the thing, one of the goals of this gameplay is to start using some of the uh, some of the uh, components that are in the shared game. And we will go ahead and do that. So, um, okay, first up is Crawling Chaos. And one of their goals is they can just, uh, as an action, pay six power. So I think one thing that they might do is let's try out to grab, let's try to grab one of these spells. We can just pay six power for this spell book. And I think it would be interesting to do if you turn in the Elder Signs for Doom Points. Uh, So if you play Elder Sign for Doom Points, you can immediately receive power equal to the face value. The stars are right. I think that would be great because if I want to go ahead and... Uh, I need to have 8 power for Azathoth and then I have to pay a lot of power. I think I'm going to try to use this uh, card. So I'm going to grab the stars are right as my paid action spell book. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll just pay for that. And that'll be my action turn. Uh, I get that spell book. And uh, now w when I use Doom Points, I can go ahead and track the, uh, track the next, next move. So then let's go ahead and... Um, Let's go ahead and just to get some things on the board, let's have yellow sign. Also, um, well, these have to be paid in the doom phase. Okay, we'll, we'll save those for the doom phase. Let's have yellow sign go ahead and desecrate uh, the spot that they're in. They can roll and they get a four. They don't desecrate. Yeah, I guess I need to move some cultists there is the smarter thing to do. So. Uh, I will start to migrate a few cultists there instead. So yeah, well actually, let me just, it's kind of silly to do that. Let me move a cultist one, and then I will slowly chip away at moving some cultists here to get get them at least to three. Uh, so we'll go ahead with that. And then uh, back to Crawling Chaos. I will have them, uh, what else do we have to do? Control four gates. So yeah, I think I will have them maybe just move to uh, Australia, I guess. They can move to Australia. And see, this is a problem because they've got both of these spots, North America and South America. So he'll move to Australia to open a gate for one. And then um, back to Crawling Chaos. I mean, sorry, back to Yellow Sign. So I'll have Yellow Sign move another uh, uh, character in. And then let's, so it looks like we'll probably end up having some combat over South America here. Because that's the only way we'll get to uh, desecrate this Yellow Sign. So we'll see how that plays out. Uh, back to Crawling Chaos. We will have them spawn a fourth gate for three. 
and that will allow us to get another of our cards. Uh, and I'm going to choose we choose where where pain goes. We'll choose where pain goes. I think that's kind of an interesting one as opposed to so just put that out there. Okay, so now we've got another gate spawned. We're down to two power with crawling chaos. Back to yellow sign. Okay, let's have them try again. We'll cost two here and we'll try to desecrate. Um, no, it still doesn't work. So I'll give, give myself another shot at that in the next round. Uh, let's have our cultists. Uh, Have a controlled gate spell book. We have one of each out here spawned. Let's go ahead and uh, maybe we can just move some reinforcements across. So we'll move this guy into North America for two, and that's one point. And then we'll have another two point roll. Let's see if they can get it this time. No, they don't get it this time. So I guess I'll just have him move down to South America and for zero, and I will have yellow sign move another cultists down just to prepare because we have to desecrate this area. So as an action, select, select another player who gains three doom points. Gaining three points. Yeah, so let me, what does gaining three, what does gaining doom points mean and costing doom points mean? So means do we re revert the doom track is that what a cost of, of doom points is yeah guys let me know in the comments for that so let's go into um the let's go into the uh doom phase so i think we'll go ahead and have uh a let's see servitor of the outer god Roll the star of vampires. Okay, so I'll, I, what I think I will do is I will have... Uh, so wait, so let's just go to the phases of play. So we finished up our action phase. We're going to gain back our power. So again, uh, yellow sign has six for the cultists plus two, four, two... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, and then plus they have, uh, that's it. They have ten, right? All right, and do they get, uh, they get one power for each area that has a desecration unit and one or more of your units. So they've got one desecration point as well. So they're up to 11. And then um, Crawling Chaos gets six plus two, four, six. And then they also get, uh, that's it, so they get 12. Maybe we can just roll a die for each of them to see who goes first. And yellow sign will go first in the next round. And then I think we'll have uh, one doom per controlled gate, so. Actually, this should be reduced one because they don't have three gates. They have two. I messed that one up. So now we have yellow, I mean, sorry, uh, Nyarlathotep has three gates. So it's one, two, three, four gates. I mean, one, two, three, four gates, right? And that should make this up to 13, right? 14. And then they get one, two gates. So we're, somehow we're back tied again. But now that the Doom Track is, do we play with two coins? I, I will just assume that it's five for this one, but if it's not, I can, I can notch down one power. So I will put five, one, two, three, four, five. Oh wait, sorry, I don't need to do that. I will, P 
pay two doom points. So I will get an elder sign. I don't get a great old one, but uh, Crawling Chaos gets a great old one. So they have uh, Elder Sign here that they can play. They have one of their great old ones. But I will use Rituals of Anni Annihilation to um, basically, I think I have to pay the five power, and I can advance this one. So, and then I can. Uh, use two doom. I'm going to pay two doom. So I retract doom, but I will get the star vampire. Right? So the star vampire is an energy drainer. Right? So we'll go ahead and we'll add the star vampire to our pool. And I'll just kind of put it down on the side here. Maybe I'll just leave it here for now. But star vampire, what I'll do is I'll put. I'll put these off board. The star vampire will be here. And I'll just put some a, t a blue token on it to say that the star vampire is ours. And now I get to pull our star vampire onto the board. And I will put it in this controlling gate here. So if star vampire has the power to drain power from the other players. So we add a star vampire onto the board. And for Yellow Sign, they got their um, extra ritual, uh, extra Elder Sign. And that is going to be the end of the turn. So, yeah, so let's uh, come back on turn four. So, okay, we've got a couple of our mechanics in play. We've got Crawling Chaos with the Stars Are Right spell. Um, if you turn in Elder Signs for Doom Points, you immediately receive power equal to their face value. And we've got a Star Vampire on the board. And this Star Vampire is quite disgusting. And probably has bony arms. He's got a victim. And, uh, okay, so the power of the Star Vampire, it says, each pain they roll drains one power from the enemy's faction. Each kill they roll drains one dew point from the enemy faction. Wow. And the pain and kill still counts towards normal combat results as well. So this will be interesting for our first combat with a, a star va vampire. So we'll come back in turn four. Maybe we'll get into a combat. We definitely have to capture an enemy cultist. Uh, uh, yellow sign needs to catch up a bit. They'll probably get the desecration next round. And they'll probably throw down a gate here so they can catch up on the power track. And then we'll, let's go into next round, yellow sign picking a spell that works for them. Okay, thanks a lot for watching and uh, looking forward to spawning Azathoth. I'm wondering who will do it. Uh, come back uh, for turn number four. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.